Jamaican lottery scammer got caught. No, I'm going to check the laptop in your presence, in your view, and then um, we will check it from there, okay? All right. Um, how about this thumb drive? So, I'm using it almost. I'm on some, some backup on the um, TV. Okay. All right. I'm still going to take a, a look at the laptop. Right, that's your um, marijuana there. That's right. You know that it's still illegal to be in possession of marijuana. Eh? Now, the, the information that you have stored on the laptop, have you ever um, called anyone overseas? It's a black um, machine laptop. It's already known. Oh, so it's the same as we don't even have to do any further. Oh, sure, sir. Don't do anything. Yes. So here we have, um, he has a, well, the Magic Jack software seemingly was connected. So we, here we have some lead sheets on the laptop right here. So we don't even have to go too far. Called Ganja 2 2.200.xls. Right? And this contains name, names, telephone numbers, addresses, date of birth. And if you notice, most of the most of the persons here are born between talking about 1927, 1932. So most of these persons are elderly persons, right? This particular document contains seven sheets. Of identity information. How many of these persons you have called? So I'm not called any of them, sir. Okay, we'll find that out. What about this one? That's that's leads too, right? What? This <laughs> this file one dash nine dot twenty fourteen and that signify that that is what the first so of we're, September. We're sure, we're sure, we're sure the, the file and say. The Prime Minister Conference, the Prime Minister called him in a true the incident at me, 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 me have no money and me said no I move. I just okay. dash line and tell me that I might be true. Oh, hold well, on, no, don't touch the computer. Yes, sir. Okay, all right, so these are the files. Yes, these is that the files right here? Yes, sir. All these files are uh, populated with... Some of them are already on the files, some of them. We're talking about these ex files right here. <clears throat> Ganja Man 200, Ganja Man 200, and then Ganja Dash 2 that 200. All these are populated with identity information of persons overseas. Now, these, this area showed the recently opened files. So, let us open another file here. Okay, so here he has some sweepstakes type lead sheets. Well, the sweepstakes ones are the ones I'm afraid of because it means that persons would have filled out this information, um, the forms to enter some kind of sweepstakes. And so it is easy for them to convince persons if they have already filled out these sweepstakes forms. And this is a cell cellular phone and we're going to check <coughs> the cellular phone now if he has been calling. Um, Overseas number. He has Magic Jack installed here. All right, so let us see if the Magic Jack software. Is. All right, so here we have overseas number being dialed from the Magic Jack software. Who is Rob? Uh -huh. You don't remember. All right, here we have a lot of different overseas number. Well, the thing that, with Magic Jack is that the Magic Jack gives the scammers a, a local number within the United States. And so when they call their victims or clients, the victim will see a, a US number instead of a Jamaican, num Jamaican number. Because in some states, the 876 is being blocked. And so they have resorted to using voice over IP software like Magic Jack. And um, as you can see here with the Magic Jack, the Magic Jack can be installed on a device like a smartphone or 
tab tablet and once they have access to the internet whether 3g 4g or some other kind of broadband even wi-fi they are able to make calls free as a matter of fact with magic tech all right we notice he has yellow pages installed too the white pages rather this is white pages <laughs> white pages right so you can confirm through white pages the telephone numbers of the persons who, um, whose information appear on the lead list so let us look if he has a history there's no history of searches being done all right in this regular call log we say we're identifying an overseas number here and we even see the picture of the person who is this woman but our picture comes up on your phone which means that all right we'll also um check the text message area so we're going to go to messaging and see what he has there all right here we have a conversation going on here so Maggie, what a tracking number and we want to know if at the same Florida address it has sent to text me the tracking number Maggie, answer the phone can chat to me we may we send some someone for big man if you send the thing already just text tracking number all right so apparently he has someone working with overseas what some of these cameras do they'll have an overseas contact and that they that will work with them to collect some of these money um since the clamping down of um, the western union and so on we find that these persons i know um you know creating overseas links maybe family members friends or other victims which they have recruited to collect money on their behalf and somehow either ship the money or um, send money by mail air pack or even have somebody bring down the money for them all right come, come tell me what these are mm -hmm. i notice you have some some things here so like you have um anyway, what is that just remove jinx remove so when you said jinx remove what that means thank you somebody jinx so what's that one hi john conquer all right, would, 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 would you say that these are associated with Obia or witchcraft or, or, or what was the witchcraft, but you know what I'm saying? Even, even, even if you are Christian, yes, Christian have them, them rituals or them using oil water and everything. Okay. So it's just, it's just a thing like that. Okay. That's like when you read, you read, you read in the Bible when they say like they use incense, burn incense when you pray. Okay. All right. So you have a box full of those things. Jesus, these are to protect you yeah. and and help you to make more yeah. money and them something. No, these, these yeah. Are right. So you have one card. That's what money oh, drawing yeah. up. Yeah. Right. And this one is. And this one is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is All right. Yeah. All right. And what we usually find in most of these um, scammers home. Is that they will have different oils, different powders, all kind of um, things that are associated with witchcraft and so on. Seemingly to help protect themselves. And um, we have seen situations, um, in some cases, persons write the name of their victims on piece of paper and um, perform rituals for these persons to send them money. Okay. Put a candle. Right. Write up these seizure forms and label it items. We are taking laptop or thumb drives. No, no, you can't do nothing. Scammers at it again. Okay, sir. So now, sir, what you have to do, sir, is just have your government claiming price card to claim your price. Okay. Okay. And your government claiming card, sir, is your one vanilla gift card. Do you familiar with it? I am familiar with that. Okay. And you know where to go to have it? No, I don't. The Walgreen or the TV at Jug Store. Okay. And how far you live from the TV at Jug Store, sir? Uh, maybe about uh, half an hour. 
personnel. Okay, sir. And sir, the only thing you have to have is your one vanilla gift card. Okay. Okay. And that is the problem for you to have? No. Okay, sir. And it's going to cost you Uncle nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, okay? It's gonna do what now? It's going to cost you a good $999. Okay, so that's what I'm going to put on the card? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And this is your this is your cell phone or this is your home phone? This is my cell phone. Okay, sir. So, sir, you see my call back number on your caller screen? Yes, sir. Okay, so you could give, my, you remember my name? I, I don't remember. What's your name? My name is Mr. David Sawyer. Mr. Remember, I am your prize representative. I am the one with the delivery team. You're going to see arrive at your place of residential, okay? Okay. So when I give you, when I get the card for the vanilla card for 990 how much? $999. What, what am I going to so do with that? You're just going to have it in your hand. You're going to came straight home with your cards. And then you gave Mr. Sawyer, David Sawyer a call. And you're going to let me know that we could have your price register for your delivery to happen right away. Today, today, on your big blessed day, you're going to receive your cashier's check along with your brand new Mercedes-Benz car. And wow. Wow. And all it's going to cost me is $999. Pardon? All it's going to cost me is $999. Yes, sir. Okay, good. You sound like you're from Jamaica. No, sir. Where are you from? Pardon? You, where are you from? Because the call says it's coming from Kingston, Jamaica. Oh, my gosh. No, sir. I in, I in Queens, New York, Jamaica. Okay, you know what? You are a crook, and I've just recorded your. I just recorded your 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 your. I'm going to give this to the FBI. You are a crook. Get off the phone, you bum. Go look at. Go get a job. Let's play this back.